In today's video, I give you five good reasons as to why you should buy an older version MacBook as opposed to a cheaper Windows laptop. What's up and welcome to Tech Select. My name is Linus and I do appreciate everybody that is subscribed to this channel. Thank you so, so very much. Now, like I said, today we are talking about why you should go out and buy yourself an older MacBook Pro as opposed to buying a cheaper Windows machine. So there's so many Windows uh, machines out there and most of them are not really so well built, you know. So that is why today in this video, I'm giving you five reasons why you should go and pick up yourself an older MacBook Pro. Let's start with reason number one. Reason number one is design. Now you just can't beat the design aspect of the MacBook. The MacBooks were designed really, really well. And of course, we must say their design has aged very, very well. Like if you look at, let's say, um, from the 2012 coming down all the way up to like the 2009 uh, MacBook. So from 2009 to 2012, uh, MacBook Pros, those things look stunning. The aluminium bodies look amazing. They just, it just looks nice. And the best bit of it is I love that glowing Mac logo at the back there. So, you know, it's the kind of laptop where, you know, you put on the table and people feel like, yeah, it is a very presentable machine. Now, if you were to compare that to like a Windows machine, which can come in the same price range, especially in the used market, it, most times you don't even want to open it in public, to be honest. So as far as design is concerned, the MacBooks are built very, very well. They look good. And that, you know, aluminum finish just gives them that premium feel gives them that corporate feel you know you feel like you're holding something that is really worth it in your hands another thing i would like to highlight here is the great keyboard on these macbooks especially when you look at like model 2012 2011 and also the 2010 unibody macbook pros that keyboard is just amazing it gives a very good feeling so if you're a student and you're looking for a machine that you can use you know to type your notes uh, something to take notes maybe if you're in class and stuff like that then there's no keyboard you'll find at a cheaper price range than these macbooks right here they have an amazing keyboard the tactile feeling is really good and they just make an amazing typing experience also added uh, benefit is they are backlit so even if you're typing in a you know you're having maybe night lectures and the place is not well lit or you're in your uh, hostel room or whatever this is especially to the students out there. even just if you feel if you're a corporate person and you're in a place that is not well lit the keyboard is backlit for you so easier typing and it's a backlit keyboard as well now if you compare that to the pricing and uh you know with our windows counterparts you just cannot beat that deal right there so the build quality design keyboard all that is reason number one as to why you should go pick up yourself you know a used macbook pro as opposed to a cheaper windows laptop today now number two uh right here let's talk about price you see i've mentioned about price over and over and over now with the release of the newer macbook pros the older ones are getting cheaper by the day now you will notice that these days buying an older macbook pro actually makes a little bit more sense because the pricing has really really dropped now for instance if you're looking at let's say uh for example the non-retina models if you're looking at the 2012 macbook pros the 2011s the 2010s even some early 2013 macbook pros the prices have really really dropped you can get them up on ebay sometimes even sold in lots in packs 200 dollars 150 dollars even 80 dollars recently i saw a macbook uh, somewhere on online i was just scrolling through and it was being sold at 50 dollars with everything working now you can see that now if you compare these prices uh with the windows counterparts a windows laptop you buy at about a hundred dollars most times is really basic it's really entry level it has a lot of plastic it doesn't feel you know as premium as the mac counterpart so in terms of price you just can't beat that deal right there so that's reason number two as to why you should pick up an older macbook as opposed to a cheaper windows laptop now number three reason as to why you should pick up a macbook pro uh, today as opposed to a windows uh, laptop a cheaper one i uh, would be the screen now the screens on macbooks have always been amazing they have this ips panels and then most of them even those that are not retina just give amazing picture the 
pictures look really good the output the display is crisp it's clear it is sharp and it just looks amazing now once you move now to the retina models it even gets a lot better now if you're talking about let's say like the early 2013s um you know the 2012s the 2010s i am talking about these older ones you know I, the reason that's why i kept mentioning 2012 11 and 10 is because those are the ones which you can really get for really really cheap yeah so we're comparing those with you know, with the an equivalent cheap uh, windows laptop so the why i keep mentioning those is because they are the other ones you can get at a really really good deal also you can get some nice deals maybe like on a 2013 early 2013 mid 2013 macbook pro now the screens on there are just amazing the display is really great now once you you have accurate colors i just love the color accuracy of the macbooks you just cannot get a windows machine with a similar kind of display for anywhere near that price range once you start looking for windows laptops that have got a nice ips panel screen you know with very good accurate colors then you have to increase your budget you start talking about you know you start talking about some 300 400 500 us dollars if you're in uganda or within um the ugandan areas then you start talking in terms of like 1.8 million 2 million uh, two and a half million shillings if you're talking about windows uh, to get a machine which has an equivalent good screen and yet in this particular case in our ugandan market if you look at the 2012 20 early early 2013 uh 2012 and the 2011 macbooks you're talking of a price range of about 900 800 sometimes if you get a good deal even 600 000 uganda shillings uh you can always convert that to dollars so you get to see what i'm talking about in terms of screen you just cannot beat that deal right there now reason number four as to why you should pick your yourself up an older macbook pro as opposed to a cheap windows machine would be performance now hold your horses i know right now people are going to be saying you, you can't compare the performance but hey let's analyze it a little bit yeah in terms of performance um let me use the 2012 macbook as my benchmark so 2012 macbooks came with i5 processors or i7 processors depending on the, the type you buy but they came with i5s and they came with i7s now in 2012 those were I had third generation processors. Uh, the 2011s and 10s had like second generation processors or so. Now, uh, 2013, mid 2013, towards the end, is now when they started moving. They were still rocking the third generation. Then 2014 is when they went to about uh, 2014, late 2013, early 2014 is when they moved over to the fourth generation Intel processors. Now, if you notice, um, the third generation Intel processors, now these are easily found on the 2012 macbook pro and i think some 2011s uh, the late ones those processors actually do amazing work they actually perform very very well now if you go looking for a cheap windows laptop high chances if you ask for you know something in the price range in uganda here let's use uganda uh ugandan market so if you go looking for something in the price range of about eight hundred thousand uganda shillings you're either going to get an i5 maybe in the second Second generation i7 in second generation or if you're lucky an i5 in third generation now if you notice we are almost in the same range and yet here on this particular macbook you have you know a third generation processor that works very very well and then the added advantage is with the older macbooks is you can always upgrade your internals in this particular case you can bump up your ram push it to the maximum of 16 gb of ram right there because it has two slots you can put eight and eight that pushes it to 16 gb giving you perfect performance then you can swap out the hard drive which is the hdd um the you know the old school spinning hard drive swap that out and put in an ssd and now you have a perfect working machine that boots really fast and works you know it just works beautifully and works really fast now the other thing i know people are going to drop it in the comments are going to be like hey in terms you've just talked about performance and all of that now what happens with uh you know you cannot update the os now in terms of operating system if we are talking about 2012 and below um 2012 itself i think will go to a maximum of catalina if i am not wrong and mac os catalina is actually a decent operating system now the whole thing is you just have to find apps that run on that particular system but then there's an added advantage where you can dual boot your mac install windows on it and now you have a perfectly working windows machine 
that has got a nice IPS beautiful screen if it is retina even better with good performance and you notice how you will be out competing the person on a windows machine for a similar price i think now you begin to see the argument right there in that having this macbook makes it a lot cheaper and a lot better because now you can easily run both sides of the coin have your mac os running and also dual boot it with windows and i have two operating systems you know basically you almost have like two machines for the price of one now the final reason the last reason um reason number five as to why you should go buy yourself you know an older macbook pro as compared to a cheaper windows laptop would be uh ports now the older macbooks were actually personally i love older macbooks because um they were given an array a really vast array of ports you have your two usbs you have some firewire ports you have you know a card reader headphone jack you know all these are connectivity options and the best bit of it the best bit of it is that magsafe charger that magsafe charger just is i i don't know when i i I don't know when, you know, a Windows will ever have something like that. Just snaps on, snaps off. It's just something beautiful about that MagSafe charger. And you just can't go wrong with MagSafe, to be honest. And I just love that design. And I love that feature that, you know, you can just, you know, snap on the park and snap it off. Now, all these uh, ports and all this connectivity, you have Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth uh, 4.0. You have beautiful Wi-Fi. Um, and actually very, very strong wi-fi antenna to, to you know at that you know you have easy communication and synchronization across your devices in case maybe you decide to have an ipad and stuff like that it's a lot of added benefits to have an older mac than have a cheap windows machine now there you have it i've given you five reasons as to why you should go out and pick out an older macbook pro as opposed to a cheap windows machine of course uh, in case you have anything anything you'd like to comment on this particular video drop me a comment in the comment section i shall definitely be reaching out to you and uh, replying to that in case you agree or disagree um do give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down depending on whatever works for you and also let me know uh how you think you know what do you think about what i have just you know stated over here is it better to buy an older macbook or buy a cheap windows machine in my opinion buy the mac enjoy yourself well thank you so much for watching this video my name is linus and uh do subscribe so that you are updated on each time i drop a brand new video on this here channel thank you so much for watching and i shall see you in the next video Bye bye